Before this video actually goes on, currently we're on the road to 500k. Currently we're actually 50k away from hitting that goal. And my birthday is actually in exactly one month and one day. So my goal is to hit 500k subscribers before then, which once again is November 14th. The most subs I've ever gotten in one month is 45,000. So I'm hoping this month we can actually smash that and try to get that 50,000 goal. But with all of that being said, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. So Call of Duty Mobile just posted a video on their Instagram and their Twitter, probably their Facebook as well, but I don't really use Facebook that much. I anyway talking about the brand new smg that is coming to the game the fennec uh, i watched a little bit of it and basically what it seems like is it just showing off it's showing off like gameplay and the different perks on it and just kind of what the capabilities of the weapon are so i thought i'd go ahead and play this video for you guys and kind of react at the same time and just uh, kind of point out things that i noticed that are unique about the weapon and stuff like that so uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get right into that it is also kind of a short video so it's like a minute and 16 seconds i believe but anyway let's go ahead and get right into it The king of close quarters combat. Some machine gun with extremely high fire rate. It, by the way, it does have extremely high fire rate. I already tested. I'll put the fire rate on your screen right now if you guys are curious to see what it looks like in rounds per minute compared to the MSMC and the QQ9. But yeah, super fast. I'll try not to pause that much unless there's like really important things. The hip fire is absurd on this. I know I said I wouldn't call or pause a lot, but the hip fire is insane on this gun. Trust me. I think it's pretty similar to the old Cordite. Maybe even potentially a little bit better, but it's crazy. As you can see, compared to like the HD40 and the MSMC, it's insane. I have this audio way too high. And then also, obviously, the akimbo perk is on this weapon. If you don't know what akimbo is, basically, you can hold uh, two of the Fenix, one in each hand. And as you can see, the downside of it is that damage of each weapon is slightly decreased. So I'm curious to see what the damage stats will look like with that and what the potential time to kill is of this. I imagine the time to kill will be increased when you use akimbo, but maybe the damage is going to be so decreased that it won't even be as good. Uh, we'll see how that works. But as you can see, uh, you hold two weapons, but the damage of each is reduced. And that's the only downside of it. Also, you can't ADS with them when you do that. Here's the Kimbo gameplay. This is the first time I've seen this. Bro. The accuracy of the hip fire is insane too. So probably if you put on like a um a laser, a laser sight, it's probably even better. Yeah, see like right here, um a Kimbo, Laser Ranger, Merc Foregrip, Extended Mag A, and no stock. So basically all of those will help with the recoil or the movement speed and then a bigger magazine size. I'm curious to see what the magazine size is with the extended mag. Fifth it said 54 right there so maybe 60 maybe it's 30 on each so extended map probably puts it up to 30 so you probably have 60 because like 30 30 and then as you can see the laser sights helping in with the the recoil this thing is probably going to be busted close range it's probably going to be better than like shotguns almost but it probably falls off really hard you know what i mean it's probably like not versatile at all kind of like the old msmc msmc is still not versatile but like old old msmc uh yeah it's probably gonna be similar to that in a way but obviously different and here's more of a versatile build with like a red dot more than likely, eh, the iron sights on this aren't great, so if you do want to use it at range, which you probably shouldn't, probably want to use the red dot on it, but more than likely you're going to be rocking a Kimbo. I pretty much think that's going to be like the only way people use this thing. At range, though, it looks like recoil control is not that bad. This might be like better for like BR, if you want to have something a little bit more versatile. In BR, you're going to need a massive magazine. I'm going to go look at the mag size in that again. 25. Like right there, he reloads. Watch, it says 3. 25. So that's what magazine is that? Is that just base? Yeah, it's just fast reload, so the normal mag size is 25, which makes sense. I saw that in BR. I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, so that's it. So this is in BR. If you actually want to try the gun a little bit, you can go play BR right now, and you can find either a, I think, a blue or a green version, as well as a gold version on the ground if you want to just try out the weapon. I do think I have a little bit of video gameplay I can show you guys just so you can kind of see what it looks like in BR. Uh, but that way you can actually see, like, the, the feel of the weapon and everything. Again, BR is different than multiplayer, so it's not like you're seeing exactly what it's going to be like in multiplayer. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this thing's going to be insane. My take on it is it's going to be ridiculous close range. And again, it's going to have, like, no versatility um outside of like probably i think if you do a kimbo you're probably only going to be able to use it within 10 meters effectively um you could probably build it to be solid up to like 15 or 20 and then after 20 no matter what you do it's probably going to be pretty garbage um it, it really depends on like the damage and everything but i imagine it's going to be like the qq9 and the msmc and fall off pretty hard i'm also curious to see if the damage decreases on different parts of the body like some of the other weapons and also if there's a different magazine for it where you can maybe convert the ammo to a different type of ammo uh, that'd be interesting to see as well but yeah so that's my base reaction let me know what you guys thought of the uh Fennec. and let me know whether or not you're going to be grinding for this weapon when it does come out and if, whether or not you think you'll like it and with all of that being said i will see you guys later Peace.